for the best experience, please play with sound. I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing Paranormal Files, 10th in the series. This one's called Counterpart, and it is courtesy of Elephant Games. They have provided me with the access to the game, so I can share it with all of you folks. Uh, don't, or don't forget, they are celebrating 20 years of making games for us, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, we are playing live with all of the beautiful people that are watching on YouTube and on Twitch. Hello, beautiful people. Ooh, we got some drama here already. Okay, let's hit the play button. We got casual, advanced, hardcore, and custom. Very nice. Everything is purple. This game came out. Everything a week ago. has changed. Since my dear friend and head of the Paranormal Files Agency, Rick Rogers, went missing during the investigation of a mysterious shop that sold magical artifacts. Is this like some sort of comic booky vibe here they're going for? Yeah, this game came out uh, October 2023. Very recent. I recruited some friends to keep his legacy alive and vowed to continue his work. We spent 14 years searching for Rick and solving paranormal mysteries. They have been at it for quite a few games, and this is the 10th game in the series. We were shocked to learn that a Rick from an alternate timeline was behind his disappearance. But we managed to subdue and hold him in a magical trap. So they're talking about the last game that we did play. It's up to me and my team to find a way to bring our friend home. Searching the alternate Rick's lair will be our first step. After years of searching, we finally are getting close to finding Rick. We better work fast and come up with a plan. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Looks like we got some blood on the walls here. It's a very high position for a bloody hand, but... We need to discuss the case with the team. Go, team, go. Would you like some interactive help? We'll go with special features. And we are looking for collectibles. And again, folks, in the chat, when you see the collectible, please shout it out. Let's collect everything. So we have this statue here, I think. Yeah. 12 of those. So we need 12 statues. And uh, let's just talk to the team. Go team, go. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all the existence of alternate timelines and meeting a different version of Rick. Could this mean there are alternate versions of all of us out there? I would think so. We need to focus on the things we know for sure. The other Rick must have been tracking us for years. Rachel, take a look at the info he's gathered on us. Some strawberry jam is on the walls. That's a fairly good point. And Dalton, please drive safely. Listen and focus on the roads. We're going to solve this mystery. Um, I'm not sure, like, Chad, how are you feeling about the outfits of the lovely team here? Are we like, how's the fit? You know what I mean? Are we feeling their fit? I'm not sure I'm feeling their fit. Actually, I like her fit. But I don't know about the bros here. I gotta admit, Alt Rick's done thorough job studying us. It's a bit unsettling. You like them, Sky? All right, fair enough. Kiss my country ass. How are you doing? How is things going? The font of the text is bothering me for some reason. Isn't this like? Comic Sans or something? I don't know. I'm not a graphics designer, but it's a little, little off-putting, is it? Maybe a little. 
Or Rachel Cowell, maybe. Tildy, welcome in. They should all be weather leather jackets, exactly. Rachel's 44 years old. Wow, these folks are... I Okay, the way they're dressed, they made me think they were like in their 20s. Honestly. Dress your age, folks. 44. Magical power, season feels, magical energy. Took over the agency after Rick Rogers went missing. Uh, Maya Park, age 38. Magic powers, none. Noted as a journalist for many years. Uh, Gabrielle's 51. And uh, Isaac is 45. I don't know why these two share a page, but they do. And Damon Park, 40. Magic power, none. So basically, she's the only one with magic power. Oh, it says magic power is unknown. That's not Comic Sans? Oh, okay. <clears throat> what is it, Stephanie? Tell us all about it. What font is this? It definitely is one of those, like, soft fonts, if you know what I mean. It's not like Times New Roman, where it's very, like, harsh. This is very soft. alt -Rick is undoubtedly dangerous, but he's not invincible. We have the upper hand as long as he's trapped. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sort of starting to see if they were all wearing leather coats, that would be way more interesting. But we still know very little about the alternate timeline. Let's look around and see if we can learn more before deciding what to do next. She's handing us something. I'm not exactly sure what that is. The 20 minute timer gives Gibbs' voice has started. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. It looks like a typewriter font. Hmm. Kind of makes me think of a Mac. Like the generic Mac font. I don't know. Paranormal detective, founder of the Paranormal Files Agency, has blank personality. Bright and cheerful? Disappeared 14 years ago. Damn. A version of Rick Rogers from an alter reality, unknown occupation, but is adept in... Uh, magical knowledge has a blank personality uh, stern and sarcastic our last case that led us to all this alt Rick still feels unreal maybe if I look around this layer of his I'll find something on how to get our Rick back mm-hmm are you saying Gibbs that after 30 we can't dress cool <laughs> <clears throat> I'm saying you should dress your age, is what I'm saying. Don't dress like a, I don't know, whatever this is. Uh, you know what? You do you. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like. No, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Um, let's see here. So let's actually have a quick peek at the strategy guide. Let's, let's see what our collectibles are. So looks like we have statuettes and we have eyes. So there is apparently an eye collectible. So when you do spot a collectible, please, please shout it out in the chat. Let's try to get them all during the playthrough as best we can. So here is our collectible. There'll be one of these on every scene. Torn up jeans showing up on folks over 40 now. Oh yeah, it's, it's hip to be Wearing torn up jeans? Yeah. All right. Paying extra for them to be torn up too, right? Oh, look at this funky plant. These flowers are dangerous, so I'll need to get rid of them. It looks like a lever is missing. We are missing a lever, which means we're missing a lover. I can use my laptop to search for any additional info we might need. Oh, that actually does go there. These shapes look familiar. I think I saw something like this in Rick's Things. I love the mask. These are cool. One of the masks lost an eye, or did someone take it on purpose? I'm rocking sweaters now. Never was into them before. There you go, Arsh. I'm actually rocking a sweater right now. What am I got? I've got a navy blue sweater on right now. I like sweaters. When I'm not wearing like collar dress shirts for work, I'm uh, just 
good old t-shirt and sweater kind of guy. A key won't open this door. Only special amulets will lift the spell. So looks like we got a ruby eye. Let's go ahead and slap that over here. Okay, we found a secret cache. Excellent. And we got an octogram and a wolf lever. Very nice. I would like to look like her at my 40s, wouldn't we all? Yeah? She's rocking it. She's, uh... She's uh, staying young, whatever that means. She's drinking the blood of virgins or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Very nice. So we now have a lever. So where did we need that lever for? Is it here, I think? They have definitely got the pinkle going on in this game. Holy moly. It's like a pinkle overload here. So we've got the other half of this. And it looks like that maybe goes for our plant friend. Oh, it's magic essence. Okay. Oh my goodness, where did this dark energy come from? I thought we cleansed the shop. Could it be Alt Rick's influence? Good question. We have a Raven Skull, and we have Magic Essence, and notes for the team. Let's see what this does. Nothing. How about the Magic Dagger? Nothing. Hmm. So I guess we'll give the notes to the team. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Ray, you'd better take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I'm not going to take the blood of virgins. I'll be fine like I am. There you go. Some people do it that way and other people do it the other way. Life is all about choices. I've gathered everything we've learned so far, but Alt Rick definitely hasn't shared everything he knows. Check it out. There is a lot of just random stuff on this table here. So, Damon, I've gathered everything we learned so far, blah, blah, blah past month was action-packed indeed. Finding out only about alternate timelines was certainly shocking. Bum, 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 bum. So let's get cracking in here. That's kind of creepy. A board game. Uh, let's go to the next page. I'm afraid that Alt Rick is the only one who can lead us to finding our Rick. I don't like the idea of putting our trust in him, but it might be our only option. It's like lo-fi music here. Look at these guys. I want to play with them more. They kind of look like, well, this guy looks like Five Nights at Freddy's, kind of. Uh, Alt-Rick plane wasn't perfect and he got stuck in the shop. He's been experimenting with the powers of magic. After we confronted Alt-Rick, he finally admitted that our Rick is in an alternate reality. My goodness. So where is this hourglass? Oh, we got Some it. Some of the items from the shop emit strong paranormal energy. It's truly fascinating how many dangerous artifacts are here. Supernatural Life, welcome in. I see you with the gummy bear. Nice of you to drop by. So now we're looking for silhouettes. Look at the highlighter. Damn, that's old school. Let's see what else we got here and this item here is not that I guess hmm I'm trying to think the last time I actually used the highlighter <laughs> oh look at this nice cup of black coffee I'll definitely take a sip of that Pinkie Pie you're sick today well join my club uh, if, you, if you can kind of hear my uh, voice here, 
I feel great, but my voice tells a different story, you know? So, what am I looking... Oh, okay, whatever that was. Some of these artifacts are emitting strange energy. I wonder if they're not from our timeline, which would explain why Alt-Rick was looking for them. Are they just going to keep calling him Alt-Rick? Why don't they just call him, like, Trick or Dick or, f you know, Bick or Nick or something? Alt-Rick. Oh, it looks like I gotta, like, place these. Oh, this is cool. Neato. This is neat. I like this. I dig this. Record. Uh, we are literally 15 minutes in Supernatural. We just started. So you are right on time. I've said many times it's impossible to be late to these live streams. It's not possible. Okay, so what exactly is this supposed to be? Is it this thing here? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, Pinkie Pie, please take care of yourself. We'll head back to the office to examine our Rick's old documents. There might be something about the alternate timeline there. Our Rick, Alt Rick. I think we're just gonna call Alt Rick, just call him Dick. Okay, and then we can just call our, our Rick, Rick. So we got Dick and Rick. I feel like that's a good way to go. Good way to get on with it. And we go to the experiment room. Interesting. So we still have to deal with our little friends here. I just wanted to double check. Yeah. Interesting. You're having soup for lunch. Excellent. Will my princess, you have COVID. Oh no. Oh no. Hopefully you recover very rapidly. Oh, hello there. Being trapped doesn't seem to bother Dick. It looks like he still has an ass up his I mean, oh my god, an ace up his sleeve. It's time we had a chat. Yes, the plant did growl. Well, look who it is. Here to make a deal, I assume. I don't make deals with dicks. Sorry, buddy. We'll help you get back to your timeline, but only if you bring our rig back to ours. But I'll need to know that I can trust you, or you can stay trapped here. Fine with me. I have an allegiance spell locked in the safe. Use it on me, and I won't be able to betray or lie to you. Why would you have that? That's a weird thing to have. For what it's worth, I am truly sorry for everything I've done. I simply had no other choice. That was the best reading. Was it Anne-Marie? It was kind of a, a slip, you know? A little slip. All right, folks, so we're looking for these collectibles here. Um, and we'll gather that. So we need an allegiance spell to make him trust us or we can trust him more something like that so let's see what else have we got in here cool little knife a person takes the cube in the hands and takes the oath of allegiance i pledge allegiance to king and country wait how does that go, my American friends? What is your pledge of allegiance? Canada doesn't have that thing. I mean, we pledge our allegiance to the king of Canada, but you folks have a different kind of thing, don't you? Allegiance spell, hunting knife. Maybe that'll work here. It will not. It will not. I can always count on Gabrielle's determination. After all, Rick was a good friend of both of us. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we just throw this at him? No, we do not. I need a magical blade. So we're basically removing the trap and giving him this thing because it's totally going to work. 
I swear that I won't lie or betray you. I will help you find and safely return your Rick. Your Rick is in my timeline, but there's only one way to get there, and it involves the rather unpleasant business of human sacrifice. Virgins, not again. My dog is here, Queenie. Hello, Queenie. Welcome in. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'm supposed to have my hand on my heart? Is that how that goes? You can't possibly be 